Hello, YouTubers. Today, I'm going to be creating a reply to Kevin B, who asked about, hey, how do you change a tail cap switch? First thing you're going to need is a needle nose prior or a snap ring wrench, which I actually have, but I can't find right now. So reason for that is a majority of these lights do feature a retaining ring on the tail cap switch side that does have two holes on them. And it's kind of like a screw, if you will. So you're going to take your needle nose pliers, match the tips into each respective hole. and then hold it firmly better if you have a wooden vise or something like that but I don't have one right now so I'm just going to do this freestyle and this actually wasn't too tight so typically it's righty tighty lefty loosey although not always I've encountered instances where it was the other way around I think on one of through night's light but this one is actually lefty loosey so instead of spinning the wrench I'm actually spinning the tail cap and as you can see that retaining ring is coming right out Let's get that removed, pull out the switch, and in case you've never seen one of these up close before, that's fairly simple. Literally, it's a switch, right, that's on off, it has one contact onto, in this particular case, what happens is that the battery, the negative end touches here, the positive end goes through the LED, then comes back routed through the tube itself, which is why this contact is clean, right, touches there or I should say first that retaining ring and which makes contact with here and then passes through that leg and then the on off switch acts as the gate to turn it on and off. Within here was like a washer that acts as a base plate for the rubber tail cap cover. Take that out, push the cover through and that's really pretty much it. The majority of the lights follow this particular, oops, poked a little too hard. <laughs> the majority of the lights follow this model. There are instances where it may not always be this way, but pretty much you could say, I would say good, probably 95 plus percent of the lights out there that have mechanical switches in their tail cap follow this example. Installation is just reverse, put that washer back in, put your switch in. get it centered properly, put on your retaining ring, and make sure it's seated flat and properly. You definitely don't want to cross thread this while you're reinstalling it. So easiest way is usually just to loosen it, go the direction of loosening up again, and then slowly and gently twisting it back on. And finally, when you pretty much reach the bottom, give it a nice firm twist. And that's really it. Get the tail cap reinstalled back on. Test to make sure that it works. And voila, done. Now, incidentally, as I had mentioned, this is actually a reverse tail cap clicky, but if you found a forward clicky of the same size, you could swap it out for that. Here is their VG10 tail cap switch, which follows the exact same method. Again, just lefty loosey, and it wasn't on very tight at all. And just give it a twist and start twisting. Once it's loose, pop that out, grab the switch, it's out. And this particular one follows the same thing. There's a washer in there that acts as the base plate for the rubber tail cap cover. So this is how you would also be able to switch out the rubber tail cap cover for like a glow in the dark one or a different color one. Installation is to reverse, get the switch in, plop down the retaining ring, get your needle nose plier, make sure again that you seat it as flat as possible. You don't want to cross thread this. And once you feel like you've got that seated properly, start installing it. Now of note is that I particularly like this style where the retaining ring is actually smaller because I think on the through night model, I think that was the TN1011 or 11S, what happened was that that retaining ring actually 
did make contact with the tube itself. So what happens is that as you screwed it on and off, it actually made the retaining ring loose as well. So every once in a while, it would become loose. You got to retighten it and whatnot. So this is actually the proper way to do it. Get it reinstalled and test it out. Make sure it works. Voila, done. Call it a day. And that's a wrap for this instructional video. As previously disclosed, the TG06 was provided by Thorfire for review. Thanks again for watching.